At the beginning, when she told the mother she was pregnant, the man asked her to do abortion, which the lady didn't agree because here in Europe, if you are pregnant and your pregnancy is more than three months, they will not have any abortion for you again. You are going to keep that child. Like whether you want it or you don't want it, you are definitely going to keep that child. Hi guys, hi beautiful people. Welcome back again to my channel. How are you guys doing? What's up with you guys? If it's your first time coming across this beautiful face, my name is Precious. I'm a lifestyle vlogger. I live in France. So guys, in today's video guys, I'm going to be talking about this that is going on on social media. People calling people single mothers, people insulting single mothers that uh, their husband ran, their husband that bad on them. I uh, not the shame. Your, pick, your husband not claim to not get picking. That's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. If it's your first time coming across my channel, please do to click that subscribe button down below. Turn on the bell notification so you get notified anytime I upload a new video. So let's just dive right into the video because we don't have time to be blabbing around. Okay, let's go. It's all over the internet how people laugh at those women single mother call it a single mother i don't think there is any woman on earth that will just sleep and wake up and say okay now i want to become a single mother like i don't agree if there is any woman like that i stand to be corrected if there is women like that let me know in the comment section down below though there are some people who take pride being a single mother but if you listen to their backstory you really feel for them like if you listen to their story they really sat you down and explain how the whole thing happened you really feel for them that okay this person didn't really want to become the single mother let me make reference to this lady who sat me down and explained to me like who told me her own story the reason she's not a single mother now she has been in europe for the past six years and she has been dating different guys you understand they are always coming her because here in europe guys always find the need to always take money from ladies and promising them everyone at it and at the end they will abandon them leave them and go to other women because it's quite common here in europe so this because this woman has documents and she's working because of the numerous relationships she has been and she just said that okay i don't want to be in a relationship anymore i don't want to be in a situation i just want to be having fun with my life you understand and at the end she finally come across this man and she fell in love with the man and the man didn't tell the girl anything they were just dating like normal boyfriend and girlfriend and this girl liked this man and the girl got pregnant the girl got pregnant the girl said to the man okay i want to keep this baby and the man said ah I don't want to have a child yet. And the girl said to the mother, okay, you know it's possible here in Europe. When Once you give birth, I can easily give you document from my document. You understand? It's quite common. If you're in Europe, you know these things. And the imam, uh, the man said, okay, no problem. I will stay with you. You understand that point? As days were passing by, this lady stopped going to work. So she was not staying at home because she's pregnant. And her pregnancy is already three to four months. And at the beginning, when she told the mother she was pregnant, the man asked her to do abortion, which the lady didn't agree. Because here in Europe, if you are pregnant and your pregnancy is more than three months, they will not have any abortion for you again. You are going to keep that child. Like whether you want it or you don't want it, you are definitely going to keep that child. They only abort three months pregnancy. Ah yes, from three months upward, they don't abort. So this lady didn't know because she was still seeing her menstrual flow regularly. So she didn't know she was pregnant. The time she find out that she was pregnant, the pregnancy is already four months plus. You understand? And she now told the man, the boy, I'm saying mama. Pardon me, is a young guy. She now told the man that oh God. she now told the guy that she's pregnant, and this guy said, Ah, no, I can't keep, I don't want a child yet. I don't want to have a child. Um, I, 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 you know, I don't have documents. You know, I'm not working. And this lady said, Okay, let me go and let me go to the hospital. Let me go and see if I can abort this pregnancy. When she goes to the hospital, they run a test for her. I find out that the pregnancy was already four months. Plus. So they advised her to keep the pregnancy, but the man didn't agree. The man was still insisting for her to have an abortion, but the girl was scared. And the man brought some medicine from Nigeria, and the man asked her to took the medicine. The girl was really scared, and the girl said, "Ah, I don't want to take this medicine. You understand? I don't want to take this medicine. I'm scared because all those medicine that they bring come from Africa now 50-50. Sometimes, person if die, person if lose her womb, or in the name of I don't want to keep this." 
one pregnancy so the girl was insist insisting that ah, i don't want to took this medicine and later she sat the mat down she start uh, discussing the whole pregnancy with this man and tell the mother okay i'm working i have documents and i have money that can sustain us for two years at least highest for you to pick up or for me to start going to work again and she tell the man okay if i ever have this child now it will even benefit you at least at the end i can give you documents so you can also start working you see and the man said okay no problem but as this were passing by that this lady stopped going to work she was not at home so just eating sleeping and one day this man came back from work and the man was running his face okay what is going on the man said i have something to tell you this one i'm talking about the pregnancy is already seven months you understand the man said i have something to tell you and this lady was like okay as <laughs> Now my husband now, now my husband now who don't say never marry me, but at least we oh, do marry. So this lady agreeing. So when the start talking, the man now open up to the lady that's okay. Uh, he have a child back in Nigeria. He have a family back in Nigeria. Like blood of Jesus, and you have been with this lady for for how long? You didn't see the need for you to tell her that ah, I have a family back in Nigeria. Like, you were keeping it as a secret. You understand? So, she now told the lady that ah, I have a family back in Nigeria. And the woman was like, why don't you tell me ever since? And the man was saying, um, I, I, I wanted to just come and have one nice time with you. But at the end, I fell in love with you and I decided to stay with you. But the lady wa was crying because she's already pregnant and the man had told her that relax not be only that one no woman still get picking for me for germany <laughs> Jesus. this woman i'm talking about she lives in italy so it was quite frustrating and she's already pregnant what do you expect her to do so without frustration without anger crying yelling at the man so the woman couldn't take it and when she now started crying the man was not like um that was the reason i asked you to abort it in the first place and the woman tell her that but you didn't tell me that you have a child back in nigeria and germany she said no the woman in germany she's not my wife uh, she just got pregnant for me and uh, she keep the pregnancy and uh, but i am not going to marry her because she have bad character you know those silly excuses that men give she have bad character i'm not going to marry her and this one was not this lady was not telling telling the man like okay what is not going to happen to me and the man started telling the lady you said you are going to give me document like, like is that your concern right now is the document your real concern right now and the woman started asking the man are you really sure you really love me like are you really sure you really really love me or it's just because of the documents or what and the man was not like and eh, when we be europe we won't just start to and eh, because i can't decide to open up tell you these these old secrets tell you these old, eh, old these old senses which they happen with me and the woman couldn't take it she was crying and she decided to tell the man to move out of the house that she can't take it like she don't know what to do she's frustrated like she can't even wrap her head around the old the old thing that her husband already have a family back home three kids back home one in germany the woman was crying and the woman have asked the man to move out if it was you what will you do like what will you do at that situation what will you do at that point the woman was frustrated she was crying and she have been with this man for god knows how long so for that man to keep that secret from her for god knows how long like she can't trust she can't see herself trusting that man again so she has the man to move out and she gave birth to that child start training the child all, all by herself she didn't really plan for it you see not all women you see on internet really plan to become that single mother that you guys just paint them to be like huh your husband will run leave you no not everybody plan to become that single mother you understand so in that woman case she didn't plan to become single mother so there was other incidents i came across here in france because it's quite common men don't always have documents here in france like now women they always get document like i don't know why they're not the quick give men the document but women always find a way to always get the document first i don't know why like i don't have answer to that so 
this woman have a family with this man they have three kids living together and they were happily living together but the woman have the document but the man don't have documents and this woman go to work early at six o'clock in the morning and come back sometimes five o'clock six o'clock in the evening you understand that point and okay this man is not working yet the man is inside doing nothing the man is inside doing nothing at least i guess you can help this woman with is sometimes assist her cook or clean who pull the clothes in the washing machine at least you are not going to wash this clothes with your hand right yeah at least assist her sometimes help her with some little things around the house just to assist the woman no this man will always stay inside his bed woke up bath eat go and hang out with his friend and when he, go, he return back he will just go inside and sleep look for something to eat for himself he won't bother that okay this woman went to work since morning let me just make this food so everybody will eat you understand the man will not do that the man will make the food for himself and eat and forget about the woman so when the when the woman return back from work the woman will have to make food for she and his children you understand so they will all eat together and they were living together are you guys getting what i'm saying and they are living together the man will make food for himself and eat alone without thinking about the, this woman that okay this woman went to work since morning let me help her by making food for her or let me help her by washing the clothes putting the clothes in the washing machine or let me help her by cleaning the house you understand this man was, won't do any of that or let me go and pick uh, uh, the little boy from the school the man will do the man won't do any of that he will just sometimes go and hang out with his friend when he return back make food eat and go and sleep so the woman will be the one to cook when he get back from work at least go and pick the little boy from the school and at least clean the whole house someone that is working she's the one paying the house rent she's the one feeding the man she's the one who giving the man pocket money you understand like now nah, she they give her pocket money <laughs> like you understand at least hoping maybe one day they will give this man documents you understand because we women we always do it in europe like it's common if you're in europe you you understand this thing i'm talking about it's common here in europe like we, we women we always find the need to always just take these things because we see that okay europe is 60 50 one day they are still definitely going to give this man these documents at least for the now why can't i just be assisting the man i truly love you understand that point and this woman when we are doing these things she didn't see it as anything like it was all in the day the woman and the man have an issue and they were not quarreling you understand that point couple fights couple quarrel you understand that point and this man this man we are now saying something like hi hey, now me they cook by myself now me, me they cook food when i want to eat i said i'm married i i said i have a wife My, the woman that i married to can't cook for me like the same woman when they feed you the same woman when they pay your bills the same woman when they give you money may see they come back from work on they cook for you and you don't get what they do now inside as you they stay like make i understand that point make i understand that and this old thing we are now going on the woman couldn't take it because the man was not always nagging around the house i can't take this i can't I, I can't be doing this i can't be cooking for myself as in i can't be the one cooking i can't be the one uh, 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 spreading the bed when i woke up in the morning at least this is the duty of the marriage uh, this this is the duty of the wife like your wife left this house in six and she will come back Six in the evening, the bed that you slept, that the both of you slept, and you woke up late. You were the one that woke up last from that bed. Are you not supposed to clean the bed? Are you not supposed to spread the bed? Are you not supposed to even clean the house? At least help her run. But the man will not do any of that. And the woman fed up. The woman fed up, and she was. We have been together for the past ten years, and you are not doing anything. You are just sitting down there, lying down. At least, please. If you wake up in the morning, if it's the laundry, help me with the laundry. <laughs> that was all she said. Uh, help me with the laundry. If it's the laundry, help me with the laundry. Help me around the house. At least sometimes when I get back from work, I'm tired. I'm really tired. And sometimes I can't cook. Like, I'm really stressed and I'm tired. At least, please, as my husband, you are not working yet. Be helping me around the house sometimes. Like, okay, oh. 
Now, so she talk and reach on the, the man say me the woman can't die. This man beat the woman thing. <laughs> this man beat this woman thing. A blast came to pick the woman. Like, what's that? Like, balance me real quick. What's that? <laughs> and the man now started blaming the woman that uh, maybe the woman is why I don't have documents. Maybe it's because I'm staying in your house. Maybe it's because I'm here. Maybe I wish I'm outside. I'm in the street. Maybe I will find someone else to help me. <laughs> man, now you get the children when this woman they feed. Now you will bond them for. You know they pay school fees. At least we know say okay, government see the support. But at least all those viral paper, at least sometimes when they see me they buy from for school, guy, you know they bring money, they buy any of them. Now the woman who they buy cloth for you. Now the woman who they that open money when you take the barb, when you take the shave your head, and the woman they pay. <laughs> and I you see they complain, say you know if you take all these things again. I don't understand. So with your nagging and your beating, every day beating the woman, the woman fed up and she stares at the man, okay, pack out and go. I can't take care of my kids. Pack out and go. So the man, the man pack and the man left. Okay, this one now. Nah, it's not the woman's fault. She tried all her best, at least to keep the family together. But that man was just kind of stubborn. I don't even know how to put it. The man was kind of stubborn because at least you are not doing anything. The highest you could do is to help the woman around the house. Not be your constant bitter adrenaline. I don't understand. Or do your sister. So at least people that are calling people single mother, single mother, single mother, it's not actually their fault. Sometimes things happen that led to that single mother thing that they are not the one taking care of their children up by themselves. Some of them they are like it is tell you their story. <laughs> <laughs> if they tell you their story, like you pity them, you pity you pity them, like you you want follow them cry. So those people that is always calling people single mothers, I just feel is that time you guys stop. Stop calling people single mothers. They didn't just sleep and wake up one day and said, Okay, I want to become a single mother. I know some people do that, at least some people could say they don't want married, they just want boom. But those ones, those ones get their fault. But for majority of the people I know, at least they didn't just sleep from their precious bed and just decide to become single mother. Things happen. You understand? So guys, I'm just here to tell you guys that at least those people that are calling people single mother, if you never say something, not judge people. If you never, if you never say something, not judge because you don't know where you they go tomorrow. So, I believe I will just end this video here. If you enjoyed, do it to click that subscribe button down below, turn on the bell notification so you get notified anytime I upload a new video. So, if you like, you take. If you take, you take. If you don't take, just leave it there. But I said it. I say all I could say. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.